Jamie, ABS with um, television. Uh, is there any way we can assure the public that um, what happened at the police station at the beginning of the year, the end of the year, that would not happen again? I would like to assure them <laughs> because obviously investigation has been taking place in both incidents and recommendations came out from them and we are looking forward that we'll apply those recommendations. Um, for instance, our research department is presently putting a policy in place as to how do you deal with detention and now we are working towards a policy to deal with mental cases. So that has that was one of the issues that came up in our leadership forum and the head of the research and planning unit has been assigned to develop that policy. So it would be across the board that whether you're coming from the country area with a person or within the, the St. Joyce area, everybody would be operating at the same level with that. Are you able to clarify um, what you mean by 15 homicides in one death? Yeah. You had one shooting incident what it cost two lives. One person got shot outside and another person got shot inside. So it's 16 death, but it was one incident. So it's only that one. It one is death. one case. It would be one case. So one, if that matter is solved and a person is charged, it's one, this is one person was responsible, one person would be charged for killing two persons. Okay. Are you able to give us up the main meanings of cabal on the unsolved homicides? The unsolved homicide, there is one, um, some of them we have the need for forensic and we are pursuing that. If it wasn't for a snowstorm last week, the officer would have gone with the exhibit to the lab. That have to be, his flight has to be rescheduled now because he was due to travel last week Sunday, but because of the snowstorm, they canceled the flight. So he has now have, he have done new itinerary I saw it up to yesterday. That you would be traveling. So there are some cases, the one with the burned body over at Freetown, there's forensic need with that. There's the case with the lady in Clare Hall area, there's some forensic analysis we need and somebody will be taking them to the lab very shortly. So there are other cases we are still flooring away. We are still appealing for information from the general public that include the shooting down at Country Pond, the shooting down in Grace Farm with the two persons that died. So there are other cases that we are pursuing in terms of the investigation. But there are some that we have forensic items that we need to analyze to make a determination of where we go forward with them. How would you commonly assess the police relationship?